So we have a vector valued function f, which is a function of the parameter t, given by t minus t squared i cap plus 2 t cubed g cap minus 3 k cap. Using this, we have to obtain the value of this t1 2 integral. Part 1 is the indefinite integral without the limit, and 2 is the definite integral with the limit. So let's begin with part 1. So here, in part 1, all we have to do is obtain the integral f of t d so that will be equals to integral of the vector to t minus t squared. So this is i cap plus 2 t cube j cap minus 3 k cap. And this is going to be integrated with respect to t. So this will be, now what we'll do, we'll separate the integrals. So we will write into its corresponding component form. So this will become integration t minus t squared dt so this will be our x component so we'll multiply with i cap plus integration of 2t cube dt so this is going to be our y component so that will be multiplied to j cap minus integration 3 dt and this is going to be our z component so it will be multiplied with k cap right now what we'll do we'll further simplify this so we'll have integration of t dt minus integration of t squared dt. This is simply dx component, so this will be multiplied to i cap, plus we have two times integration of t cube dt, so this will be multiplied to j cap, and we have negative 3 dt, so this is multiplied to k cap. So let's find out the integral, so this is going to be half t squared minus one third t cube, so this is going to be x component, multiplied to i cap, then we have 2 divided by 4, so that will become half t raised to the power of 4. So this is multiplied to j cap minus 3 integration of dt, so that's simply going to be t. So we have 3t k cap. So this is the value of our indefinite integral, integral the vector valued function f of t with respect to t. Right. Now let's find out the definite integral with a lower limit 1 and the upper limit 2. All we have to do is use the value of the limit. So number 2, we have 1 to 2 integration f of t dt. So we'll have to use this particular vector. So that will be. So we will calculate the value of this vector at the endpoints 1 and 2. So this will be equals to. So we have half t squared minus 1 to t cubed. So this will become half multiply to the upper limit will be 2 squared so that's 4 minus one third of the upper limit which is 2 cubed that will become 8 minus the lower limit so we have half multiplied to 1 square so that's simply 1 positive one third t cubed so that will become 1 cubed simply 1 third this is i cap that we half multiply to t raised to the power of 4 so that means 2 raised to the power of 4 which is 16 minus 1 raised to the power of 4, which is simply 1. Minus, uh, this is uh, multiplied to j cap, minus 3 times t, so t will be 2 minus 1, multiplied to k cap. Now, finally, we simplify this, so we'll have 2 minus 8 over 3, minus half, plus 1 over 3. This is multiplied to i cap, plus 1 third, 15 j cap, minus 3k cap and simplifying this gives us negative 5 over 6 i cap plus 15 over 2 j cap minus 3k cap so this is going to be our value of a definite integral with limits going from 1 to 2 f vector t d t and the definite in indefinite integral we have integral f of t dt so that will be equals to half t squared minus half one third t cubed i cap plus half t raised to the power of 4 j cap minus 3t k cap so this is the value